Hi there, my name is Damien and I'm going to do a very quick demonstration of how to use repeating controls in Word and then supply data to that control via Power Automate. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to insert a table and that table is going to have three rows and two columns. I'm just going to insert some fields. We're going to have the name, we're going to have the age and we're going to have the sex. And then I'm gonna go into my developer tab here and I'm going to insert the plain text control. Um, now I need to give that a name, so I'm just gonna make, make that match with the name of the field that we have here in the table. And I'll insert another one here. Again, give that the same setup with the age as the name. And then finally, the last control, we'll go ahead and call sex here. Um, and what I want to do is I want to make this repeating. So if I select the, the whole table that I've inserted, and you'll see here I've got the repeating control selection. So if I select that, that will now put that table within that repeating control selection. Um, and one final step now is to select that repeating control, go to properties and give that a name. So we'll make that we'll call that repeating control. And um, we'll go ahead now and save that onto our SharePoint site. Right, so hopefully that will appear here in a second. There we go, there's our repeating doc. Now I'm gonna go into my flow. I'm gonna go and select the Word connector. And we're going to populate a Word template. And we'll just start a trial here for the demo. And we'll go to the same site where I've saved this file. So there we go. We'll go into the document library. We will choose that file. And when we do that, it will give us the option for the data that we can populate. So you can see here, I can insert things like the name, the age and the sex. But if I want to just do a quick example. <clears throat> and what we can do is we can go into text mode here and you can actually see that it's inserted an array um, with an object. So if I copy that first object, put a comma, paste the next object. I can also insert name my cat who is 10 and she's female and we'll go for a final one. So we've got three items being added to our repeating control. So my other cat who is a bit younger but she's also female. And then, of course, when you use the Populate Microsoft Word template, you need to save the results of that file. So we need to create a file. And I'll do that on SharePoint. I'll choose the same address as before. Folder path, we will go for that same document library. The file name, new doc. Dot, doc x and don't forget that file extension and then the file content is from this action here so i go ahead and save that we'll have a quick look again at that uh, word template action just to remind ourselves so we pick the the site the document library the name of the file word auto automatically gives us this uh, repeating control i inserted the data using the basic input but then converted it into text mode and then that allows me to insert an array. So if you were selecting data from uh, an external source, you could turn that data source into an array, maybe use a select statement and pass that into your action. So we'll go ahead and test that. Just wait for it to set up. Run the flow. Hopefully it'll all complete successfully. And then we jump onto our document library. We can see our new doc has been created. And there we have it, the repeating control 
for the three users that were supplied to that repeating content part. So that's a very quick um, demonstration. Hopefully that's uh, useful and uh, thanks for watching.